is going on nerdy girls welcome back to my channel today i have a really exciting and very informative video for you guys we are going to be talking about the upcoming 2023 spring trends so of course these are going to be fashion trends because as you know this is a fashion channel these are going to be my five picks for the spring there are a lot more trends that are going to be very popular for 2023 and I didn't include all of them. But if you guys are interested in learning about more trends than what I've mentioned in this video, or you're just looking to see some more inspiration from what I mentioned, I'm going to be linking my Pinterest board down below of all of the spring 2023 trends. So let's get into the trends. I have my phone for reference. So the first trend that is going to be popping up everywhere is the maxi skirt trend. I feel like throughout the years I've seen this be super trendy and then I've seen it kind of go away for a bit. It kind of goes back and forth. I personally have never not liked the maxi skirt trend. It does seem like we're pulling a little bit from the 2012-2013 era when it was really big in the summertime, but I think it's going to be done a little bit differently this year. I've already been seeing certain things pop up in stores like the silk maxi skirts. I've seen it on Instagram already. I've seen denim maxi skirts. I think that they're going to be super versatile, super comfortable, especially during the warmer weather. Also, keep on the lookout for maxi dresses because I think that this is going to go hand in hand with the skirt trend. Next up, denim on everything. Denim has never really gone away. It's a staple. It's something that I'm pretty sure every single one of us has in our wardrobes, whether it be jeans or a jean jacket, something denim. It's pretty much inevitable. I'm wearing my denim jacket today, feeling very springy and on trend. But think of denim reimagined or new ways of wearing denim, whether it be cool accessories, shoes, I don't know, literally anything. Denim is going to be huge this spring and summer, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot of fun and interesting takes on styling denim this season. The next trend is something that's been circulating, I want to say maybe the past year, and a lot of it stems from TikTok. That is the ballet core trend. If you don't know what ballet core is, basically it's supposed to resemble a ballerina's wardrobe, maybe a ballerina off-duty wardrobe. Think lots of tights, lots of leggings, lots of athletic type of wear or athleisure, but more on the feminine ballet inspiration side. Another sub-style of this has been Pilates Princess. I would definitely think there is kind of an overlap between those two. I'm definitely interested in this trend. I think it's very up my alley because I do enjoy feminine style. I think they go hand in hand. This one should be really interesting. The fourth trend is going to be blazers and more tailored outfits. I personally don't love tailored full-fledged outfits. Outfits. I'm not a pantsuit kind of girl. I don't like tailored structured dresses. It's never really been my thing. But a blazer is probably the only exception in my opinion because it can be a statement piece. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. That's probably the only tailored item I would include in my wardrobe. But just keep in mind that it is trending this upcoming spring and summer. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot of very fun, bright colored blazers and probably different fun, shiny, sparkly materials. Materials. I've already kind of seen that on Instagram from a few different places. But again, I think we're going to be seeing more of a reimagined version of a classic blazer. And I do recall that this was kind of trending back in around 2012 to 2014. I, I remember seeing a meme or somebody on TikTok talking about how the way that we used to dress in 2012 looked like we were all going to business meetings, dressing for working in corporate America. And I kind of think that's true the train in the background ah. and then the last trend to be on the lookout for is sequins sequined dresses sequined skirts sequined jackets sequined details on clothing sequined accessories you're gonna be seeing it everywhere and I've already seen a ton of sequined outfits for Valentine's Day that are really really adorable and I think we're going to be seeing this trend all the way into the summer. I think it's going to be a very fun addition to your wardrobe. I think it's super appropriate for party outfits or for fun 
holiday themed outfits. Sequins are just always fun in my opinion. They're not for everybody, but I definitely recommend playing around and experimenting with sequins. See if you could really just elevate your outfit. And those are my top five fashion trends for 2023. I do know that these are not for everyone and I'm not suggesting that you need to be wearing these trends. I'm just saying that they could be very fun to incorporate. This is more of a suggestion and informative video. And as mentioned before, I haven't included all of the trends that are going to be popular in the spring 2023 season. These are just my personal favorites. Comment down below if you're excited for any of these fashion trends or if I missed a trend that you're also really excited about. And if you're looking for something else to watch, click here to watch my latest video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!